tell me how you're doing. I know like, I keep saying this is such a crazy time, but it's just, it keeps going and going. So how are you holding up? <laughs> <laughs> I like to call it um, Groundhog Day, right? Especially with little kids. I'm like, we wake up, we do the same thing over and over and over. <laughs> but you know what? We're, we're surviving and um, I think we're lucky. I think we're lucky that Tanner and I have little kids right now. And so we're staying, you know, this whole last year, everyone's been staying home. And so we're kind of in that stage where you stay home anyways. So I was like, if we're going to be in such a crazy time, at least uh, it's, the, you know, we have this stage of life that we're doing it in. <laughs> you have three beautiful children. They are just so cute. But I would imagine, I know, like you just said, this is a great stage in life to be in this if we had to. But I would imagine it, it's still a little hectic, especially with three children. Uh, it's, it's chaos. I mean, <laughs> if you get down to like the real like nitty gritty, uh, like I said, we're surviving. And um, while, we're, while we're very thankful, it's, it's hard. You, you know, if everyone's telling the truth, like parenting and parenting during a pandemic is even harder. Well, I do want to talk about this. Um, you're going to be on Spill the Milk, and you're going to get real about motherhood and also talk about your postpartum journey. So I want to know, why did you want to go on such an open platform to be so open and so real? Yeah, um, well, we're huge fans of Tommy Tippy, and they're the ones that are putting on Spill the Milk. And so when they reached out to me and they were like, you know, we'd love to do this partnership with you, I was really excited because I find um, it's good to be open. It's good to be real about motherhood because even though we all have our own unique journeys, there's so many things that we can relate to that nobody talks about. And in the time where mothers are more isolated now more than ever, it's just this way that I hope that I can share my truths and connect and hopefully like, help somebody out there who feels like maybe they're in it alone. The one big thing you're going to talk about is your postpartum journey. Yeah. So, you, you know, you just had baby number three a couple of months ago. How was that different from the other ones? All three of my postpartum experiences have been so different. And um, thank God for, they always say third babies are usually the easiest. And Reed is such a sweetheart. Like, thank God for his like sweet nature because um, it's, it's, it is, it's crazy here. And so my postpartum experience this time has been what I have told people is kind of like a redemptive experience. And even though it's been, it is so hard and it's challenging, um, compared to my son Brooks, who was born in our closet, um, unplanned. <laughs> I remember I seeing that and being like, what? Yeah. And so obviously unexpected and very crazy and what I would describe as traumatic for me kind of catapulted me into a really dark I, was, I, I cry all the time when I talk about this um into this dark period of my life and so um I worked I really have like done a lot of healing a lot of work through that but that's why I feel like this is so important for me is to talk to people about like no matter what, even if it's not even postpartum depression, but no matter what you're going through is valid. And I've been there and you can get out mm -hmm. on the other side. <laughs> so, um, but this time around, uh, my husband's here a lot more. And so, and I just feel like I have a little bit more of my feet on the ground and I'm able to navigate through the challenges a lot easier. And I would imagine, I know like it is hard, you just sort of crying a little bit, but I would imagine <laughs> you being open is also helping so many other mothers. So many other mothers. Thank you. And I feel like that's um, one of the reasons why I try to be open is because if what I went through can help somebody else, then it gives it maybe a little bit more purpose, you know? So um, that's definitely like one of my, my um, I guess goals behind everything. <laughs> and you just said it's a little easier this time around with Tanner being home more because of the pandemic. But I do want to know how has three kids changed things between you two? Because I know viewers, we know you as Tanner and Jade on the beach, Bachelor in Paradise, right. but now <laughs> three kids. 
Yeah, I mean, we're outnumbered now, so I feel like that was such a huge game changer. It's like, uh, well, two, two parents, three kids. <laughs> and um, I honestly think it's, what's crazy is two is really hard for us. And I feel like a third has brought us together, like closer together, because he knows like, I, I don't have enough hands, you know, like he has to pitch in more. And so I feel like we've worked better as a team um which has actually been great but yeah we're not jade and tanner on the beach anymore we're, we're mom and dad <laughs> so funny okay what about more kids i mean i know you just said you're outnumbered by three but four i in in my ideal world that i put on my rose tinted glasses um i would love to have a four okay. but in reality <laughs> with how crazy life is uh, I just, I don't know. I don't know if that's uh, a reality for us. Although I would, I just love the sweet newborn stage and all that goodness. And I see our family kind of as a family for it, but we also call it baby Reed. We call him Reed, baby Reed. So I'm like, maybe that's his destiny. Maybe he's just the baby of the family. He's I don't know. <laughs> baby of the family. What does Tanner think? Would he be a proud dad of four or is he like, okay, three's enough. Let's call it, <laughs> let's call it how it is. <laughs> I think the door is cracked. I think there's like a little opening if, if, you know, if it happens, but for the most part, he's like, we're, we're done. Like he wants to start traveling again once that's more of a common thing and when it's safe. And, um, he's like, we can't, we can't do four. Like how are we going to even do that? You know? So <laughs> I think he kind of is ready to get into the older kids, like a little bit more, like, I guess what we would consider school age kids. I do want to ask because obviously, like I said, we know you from Bachelor in Paradise and, you know, there's been a lot going on in Bachelor Nation and a couple, a lot of Bachelor Nation stars are actually apprehensive to come back for BIP this summer because we didn't have it last summer. We're going to have it this summer. Um, would you be apprehensive? Like, what do you think should be the future of Bachelor in Paradise? Um, I mean, I have a soft spot for Bachelor in Paradise. It is Tanner, Tanner's my favorite uh, part of the franchise for a reason, but um, you know, I hope it continues. I hope that it's, you know, they were able to do uh, Claire and Tasha's season and now all the other seasons they're starting to do even with COVID. And so I hope like that's safe and that everyone's following precautions. And then also I know there's people that are ap apprehensive because of like inclusivity um and things like that so i i think that the show can find a right direction to go i hope that makes everybody feel comfortable and i would love to see the show back on i feel like um for us it worked and i feel like you get so much more time in your relationships on that on bachelor in paradise yeah. um but i feel like people could really find somebody and i love watching people fall in love so i hope it returns I mean, I have to be honest, Bachelor in Paradise is my favorite. It's my favorite just because I do feel like it works better. Like there's more couples yeah. that come out of Bachelor in Paradise than The Bachelor or The Bachelorette. Oh yeah, I agree. It's a, well, although it's, I feel like there's more drama nowadays, so maybe that's changed a little bit. But when we were on, it was just more like stress-free. I could just hang out with Tanner whenever I wanted. Um, we actually got to have like really deep conversations and, and, um, had the time, you know, on The Bachelor, they always talk about, I didn't get the time, I didn't get the time. And in Paradise, you get all the time. And so I feel like that's why it really works. That's so interesting to hear. I do need to ask though, because I know you're best friends with Ashley and Jared. And here at Access, we love them. Love Ashley and Jared. But a lot of rumors are going around saying that they might host Bachelor in Paradise. That would be cute. I haven't heard that rumor, so I will have to text message Ashley. But we love them. I think they're both uh, great TV personalities, so I think they would do an awesome job. They would do awesome. Also, I think you and Tanner would be fun, too. Well, maybe we'll come down and do a little cameo. <laughs> With three days, I don't know if it's possible to do a full-time gig unless they're willing to have little kids like running through the camera scenes. <laughs> well, you could bring them and then the kids and be like, guys, this is what your future could be like. Look at there these little cute little, because it's really, you know, it helps that your kids are really cute. Really, really That's cute. That's true. That's true. <laughs>